In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to take you garage sailing with these two gurus. Yep, my mom and her partner in crime, Debbie. All throughout summer, this van gets packed to capacity. So climb aboard for a fun-filled episode of Garage Sailing. I'll even take you for a tour in Debbie's gorgeous house, where everything is decorated with beautiful thrift store and garage sale finds. It's definitely something to see. It even made me want to go home and start redecorating. So if you're ready for this week's episode, then let's dive in. Before we get started, though, I just want to welcome you if you're new here to Flea Market Rescue. My name is Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. If you're interested in learning how to do some of this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you know, I am always out at the thrift stores, but garage sales, this is where you're going to find your best deals. And that's what I learned from these two gurus. These two are professional garage sailors. Yep, every week in the summer, this van gets filled to capacity. And whose van is this, you might ask? Well, it's my mom's friend and partner in crime, Debbie. These two really know how to pack a van, and they go all over looking for great deals. And today, we're going to tag along with them. Now, make sure you stick around, because at the end, I'm going to show you Debbie's house and what she does with her thrift store and garage sale finds. So every year, my mom and her friend Debbie, they go to this Romeo garage sale. It's a community garage sale. It's like a garage sale mania. And they find tons of stuff. And they asked me if I wanted to go this year. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm game. Now, Romeo is a small little quaint town. And it has such cute buildings and really historical houses. And this is where you can actually find some good antiques, as I'm going to show you. It's only $10. So we hopped in Debbie's van for a fun-filled day, and let me tell you, this day did not disappoint. Our first stop was at these condos in Romeo. Right away, I spotted these, and for $10, that's $5 a stool. We could definitely paint them and stencil something on top. How cool would that be? But as I went into the garage, I noticed this one. Look at this one. It's only $3, and it has such charm. It's antique. It's old. Oh my gosh. The only thing I didn't like is it kind of dipped in a bit, so I decided to pass on this. We're just going to keep going. We just started garage sailing. There's so much more to see. This next condo we went to had a lot of furniture. Look at this, you guys. $5 for all you furniture flippers out there. Garage sales, you're going to find your best deal on furniture. You know, I'm always looking at those filler bowls. I didn't even see that. You always have the knack of finding things that nobody sees. How much and is that? Two dollars. That's cute. And then these napkins. Yeah, love that. At the next one we went to, I came across these super cute little angels. I think they're going to be awesome in a project, so I am going to grab these. If you remember, I did that angel mare, and again, there's so many things you can do with things like this. And for three for a dollar, how can I pass this up? Heck, I spent eight dollars alone plus shipping when I saw this on Instagram. I had to have it. So we're definitely getting these. You could give me a dollar for all of them. Okay. Wow, that's a good find, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. When we were at Midland, I saw a whole crock of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. But these, of course, weren't a dollar for them all. They were three dollars or two for five. So my mom definitely got a great deal here. If there's one thing I learned from my mom is you have to look at everything. You have to look at things underneath the table because you never know what you're going to find. And that's how you're able to stumble on some really good finds. Yeah. I never buy clothes because I just never know what's going to fit. Oh, I love this old jar and I can use these safety pins on some of our vintage finds. But the skeleton keys, look at this, they are becoming more and more rare to come by. So if I see these, I pick them up. Normally, skeleton keys go for a dollar piece. This is four for a dollar. I came across these old bottles. These are perfect for like during Halloween for potions. You can make them nice and grubby and they're the perfect display for Halloween. 
Now, Debbie came across this iron and told me what I could do with it, and it wasn't until I actually went to her house and seen how she did this that made this such an amazing idea. So stay to the end to see it. It's like you're gluing something or something. Put yeah. the weight on it. I totally could see that because it's so heavy. Yeah, I used to. That's smart. Again, I did not realize how clever of an idea this was until I actually got to her house. After seeing that, I think I'm going to need an antique iron. Look at Debbie. She's got a good eye, too. She found me some more skeleton more. keys. Good job, Deb. Two dollars. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Those are cool, aren't yeah. they? These big keys were only two dollars each, and I ended up buying the black one, and Debbie bought the other two. So you're going to take those two? Yeah. yeah. And I think I'm going to take the black one. what they say about Carlos. My mom came across this Tripoli game and bought it because we always play that at the cottage. So for a dollar, this is definitely worth all the memories that are gonna be made. It's not. It feels like pottery. It's cool, isn't it? Now this was a super cute little doll bed. It was only $10 and I know on eBay they used to go for like $70 so this would definitely be a great flipping item. I'm personally more into the home decor and doll things are just not my thing but this would have been a great item for someone who does you know dolls, doll clothing, and doll accessories. So let's just take a quick look on eBay and we'll see what this is going for. All right, so as we scroll down here, let's see. Oh, there's one, $150. Another one right below it, $150, okay. Let's just check the sold items, just for the heck of it. Okay, so this one says 75 or best offer. Now look at this one, $184.99 it went for. In conclusion, this bed is definitely a great find. I mean, just look at the profit you could make on it if you put it on eBay. I went to go see what my mom was doing and she was buying this vase. Look at the flowers, look at this pretty vase, so gorgeous. Another great find. Now, while my mom and I were looking at things, what we didn't know was Debbie was doing her own scoring. Now, she knows my mom loves Magnolia and look what she found. Oh my gosh, you got Magnolia. How much were these? 25 cents. You're <gasps> kidding. Wow. Okay. Debbie, Debbie. Yes. What I love about Debbie is not only does she have a good eye, but she is really a sweet person. That was so nice of her to get these for my mom. It made my mom's day. Those are cute. The little sheep. The sheep? Yeah. I would get those. Oh, what do you got there? That's cute. I like that. A couple candles. Let me see the, the black sheep. That is super cute. Yeah, you gotta get this. Jackpot. This is a cute little bucket here. I'm gonna have to get that. This was a cute table. It had a lot of great stuff on it. I ended up buying this black kind of vase. It was made out of wood. I love the matte finish on it, and it just had a really clean and classic look to it. Did you happen to see this mason jar? Isn't that the truth? I think they're working overtime in my closet. So I ended up getting all three of these items. You know, when I'm thrifting or garage selling or even flea marketing, I really feel this is the good life. Oh my gosh, $2 for this picnic basket. If you remember when I went with Delane Wright, we picked up one for five. I'm sorry, but I got a little paint on your counter. Oh! 
Oh God, oh, not like that over here. And when we got done with this basket, it was gorgeous. I mean, this is $2. You cannot get that anywhere. So if you were to flip this basket, I would go 18 if it's unfinished. And if you decide that you want to paint it, I would go about 24. So this is a remarkable find at $2. Not only did I buy the basket for $2, but I got this rug for free. The garage sales are the way to go in the summer. Speaking of free, the next garage sale we went to was giving away this desk for free. If you're a furniture flipper, think of what you could do with this. I wanted to take it home, but I really couldn't because we didn't have room. I really didn't find much there except for the screen machine, which someone told me was like $70. And with having pets, it's probably good to have something like this. Debbie found these. Look at these, you guys. They're tags. Buffalo check. This next house, I was in love with this house and the color of it. I really didn't find anything there, but again, the house was remarkable. They really did have a really cool old sink, but I didn't need one of those. So again, I didn't find anything, but I love the house. Sometimes you might not find anything, but you might find inspiration instead. I thought this was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that is kind of cool. Right? I bought this for a quarter. I thought this was really cool, especially with the type letter keys. I think this chair was only $10 and it definitely is an antique. Like I was telling you before, wow, Romeo is known for antiques. This is really old. Wow, heavy too. Oh yeah. This garage sale had some cool old furniture. The price on this absolutely blew my mind. $10, you guys. This piece would be pure profit. I didn't see a price on this, but when I asked her, she said, oh, give me one dollar. So you know I had to buy it. Just to put them with some green ring. Oh, yeah. Show me that. that they were gray. You know, my mom and her birds, she loves birds. This was a really cute table and chairs. Now the next garage sale we went to had a lot of garden stuff and I've been wanting to do stuff with terracotta pots and I hit the jackpot here. She had beautiful planters here that I know I can sell. I love both of these. These are both fabulous. And look at this bloom wooden box. Love this too. And for a dollar, we're gonna have to get this. Oh, now isn't this too stinking cute? How much were those? 50 cents each. Now this next house had such a beautiful backyard. Will you look at this plant stand? I wanted this, but it was not for sale. I can understand why she doesn't want to sell it though. It's gorgeous. This was a really cool bed that they had for sale in here. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. It's so big though. But $25 for that? Debbie was right. If this was painted the right color, it would sell instantly. 
but it was just too big. My booth isn't that big, so I think it would take up the majority of it. Don't you think? So needless to say, I passed on it, but it really was a good find for somebody. These are really cool. I love them. I got these for a dollar. Those are cool. Those are make really good, cool coasters. Oh my gosh, I never even thought of that, but these you're are absolutely cool right. Coasters for a game room. Oh my or gosh, they'd be cool. Do you hear that, you guys? Debbie's got it, I'll tell you. Love it. Well, after seeing that big shelf, I felt like, you know what? I really need to get a shelf. I ended up getting three shelves that day. Well, you'll see. This one was only $5 and it had one of those decorative raised backgrounds, so I had to get it. I did notice that. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah because I thought if I did it in that um, graphite, Annie Sloan, this thing would sell like crazy, wouldn't oh, yeah. it? It would because sell like that. It probably would sell like that too. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Five dollars? So Got it for five. Oh, Debbie, let me see. Oh, good eye. Oh, and eat. Oh my gosh, I want a lot of this stuff here. I know, right? We're done. Debbie, did you want these or no? I like those too. I'm going to get those. These baskets were really cool, but do I really need another basket? I probably should have asked myself that about shelves. Oh my gosh. That one's awesome. I want to buy this unless you want it, Deb. No. Oh, I so, you know, I bought this one too. This one was $10 and had that B board in the back, so I really like that. Wow. This is gorgeous. The cabinet is already sold. Thank goodness for that, or I might have tried to get this back home too. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, wow. I love it. Let me see. Can you say hi? Mm -hmm. This is perfect size for a little kid's toy. Oh. But this is like the perfect size for me. <laughs> Let's take a peek and see what my mom got here. She looks like she has a little tin welcome sign for $2. This is a cute cement pot and this planter for a dollar. These were just too cute to pass up. And for $2, I'm just going to add some greenery in there, and these are going to be perfect to sell. At the next one that we pulled up at, I could not believe what I was seeing. $5 a sheet for this corrugated metal. Do you remember when we were at Midland? We paid $5 for a little piece. These were huge pieces and they were $5. When I was thinking about decorating my booth, I had first thought about using corrugated metal, but everything that I saw on Facebook Marketplace was really expensive. It was like $200. This is $5 a sheet. I'm gonna have to get this. I mean, how can I not? So I paid the lady for it and then later on, Debbie and I went and picked it up because at this point, the van was starting to get pretty packed. So I took a quick look around her garage and she had a lot of cool signs. I didn't actually buy any, but she had some really nice ones. I actually thought about buying this one. This one was kind of cool. And I like this gingerbread bakery one too. And wouldn't you know it, outside she had a shelf. It was only $15, it was a big shelf. I knew I could sell it, but I had to really restrain myself from getting it because one, we didn't have the room, and two, I just bought a whole bunch of corrugated metal that I had no idea how I was gonna get home. Thank goodness Debbie was willing to go back and get it later with me. Next, we pulled up to this very pretty house and she had some really cool stuff there. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, when pigs fly. Now, just so you know, Debbie collects flying pigs. And that all started when Debbie's sister said, hey, why don't you clean my house? And Debbie was like, when pigs fly. So now that's their ongoing joke. And Debbie collects flying pigs. Well, today, I think she hit the jackpot. <laughs> this pig is $30 and it comes with outfits. Do you think Debbie bought the pig? Heck yeah, she bought it. Because who doesn't need a flying pig? This woman was giving away Better Homes and Gardens magazines too, so my mom ended up getting a few of those as well. Not only was Debbie happy that we stopped at this house, so was I. It really was a cute little house, and I loved looking at her flowers. Aren't they pretty? I wish I could grow some like this. We're not finished yet. These two don't stop. I noticed right away that Debbie was checking out this long cabinet. I was like, you know what? I gotta check this out. Wow, that is really cool. Isn't that nice? Okay. This was $30 and it was a homemade cabinet. I totally could see taking the rack out of this and using this maybe in your laundry room. But at this point, I think I have enough projects so we're just gonna pass on this, but it's a beautiful cabinet. Ooh, what do we have here? See, these black and white signs, they sell really good. And I really like the saying on this too. Oh, I love this. I am definitely gonna have to get this for $2. Holy moly, will you check out these? These are definitely vintage, and they're only $5. But I don't know what I would do with them, so we're just going to pass on these. OMG, look at this. This is like a trio of pails. I love this. You totally could put plants in this. You could even put your silverware in there and hang it on the wall like at a cottage. Now, I really thought this was cute. Burlap makes everything look really nice. Oh, you know she's getting this. Now this next garage sale was incredible. This guy was selling everything from his grandpa's old farm. For yeah. hats oh, and stuff. Oh yeah. What would you do with it, Doug? I'd hang it on the wall like this and put hats or coats or just put in the foyer or, or something. Put, um, dry herbs. Yeah, dry herbs would be pretty on this. Lavender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has the perfect look, the wood. I came really? to Amesbury, Massachusetts from my grandfather's farm. Really? I've got tons of stuff in this farm. I had to close it down a few years ago. Yeah. When we left. Those are nice, too. I don't know if you can see this, but these are two old physician books from the 1920s. Oh, I totally bought these. They were two for $7, the household physician. Now, after I got home, I looked them up on eBay. 30 to $60 each of them are worth. Now, they kind of smell like mothballs, but what can you expect from a 1920s book? I basically bought them because I love looking at the old graphics. This, to me, was a really good find. I even bought this old basket because the last old basket that I bought sold so quick, so I think this might be a good seller. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit though. Now you know that shelf that we seen when we first walked in? Oh yeah, I bought that too. Now this reminds me of Magnolia and that's why I bought it because she does a lot of those arch bookshelves and this kind of looks a little similar. And remember this baker's pan? Yeah, I bought that too. For $4, how could I not? Now look at this gorgeous bench, $20, you guys. Me and Debbie were like, oh, if you're not gonna buy it, I'll buy it. Debbie ended up buying this and we ended up going back and picking this up later because there was no more room in the van. I love this light, oh my gosh. I wanted to buy it for the cottage, but I thought, well, maybe it's just a little too modern though. Oh, I had a hard time passing this one up. Now, this lady wanted $10 for this arrow. That's a little high, you really can't make any money on it, but I did buy her Krig, and I also bought this white frame with clips, and she wheeled and dealed with me, which was awesome. I spotted this table right away. I thought this was such a nice looking table. These are really cool letters. I actually have an F for Flea Market Rescue.
This picture is like a statement. It's fabric, it is a sphere, and I had to get it for $20. It looked like something that you would see in restoration hardware. I know you love your flowers. How much are your flowers? I love going to crafters garage sales because you can find such cool stuff that you can create things with. The last pack of pens that I bought at a garage sale, they were all dried up. I couldn't get those things to write for the life of me. The last pens that I bought at the um, garage sale, they didn't work. <laughs> I had to get this for five dollars. It is so cute. Those are pretty, Mom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get them. Are you gonna get them? Yeah. I'm gonna take those. I'm gonna on the very last garage sale, look who got a chandelier. Yes, this thing was $15 and it's going in my kitchen. I didn't even mind that I had to drive home with it on my lap. So I think today was a great success. We found a lot of amazing things, things for our home, things to sell, and it just was a really fun day. And hey, you know what? We sure know how to pack a van. Just look at all this stuff. So remember this bench? Well, Debbie needed help carrying it into her house, and that's when I thought, you know what? You guys would love to see her house. She decorates so good, and she just knows how to put things together. So I think you guys will really enjoy this little tour. So right away, when you walk into Debbie's house, you see this gorgeous table. First time I laid eyes on it, I thought, oh my gosh, this woman knows how to decorate. It is just an absolute gorgeous table. Another side of the foyer is this tall chest of drawers that her husband had gotten for her. As you start to walk into the living room, you're met by this super cute table with beautifully staged canisters and a wooden vase. Her couch is a beautiful gray tweed, and above she has simple pattern-shaped artwork. In front of her couch sits this galvanized tray that holds a nice balance of cement, wood, and greenery home decor. Across from that is this cozy looking chair that you could just curl up and read a book in. My favorite has to be this chalkboard that's in the dining room. I love this and I want to do this in my house. And then this is just a uh, fence post. Just I think fence they were post? like $1.99 a piece. Wow. Eight foot lengths. I love that. It's just so beautiful. I'm going to do that for sure. These are her beautifully painted cabinets. And can you believe that is a microwave at the bottom? Look who found a new home. Debbie had my mom help her put this chicken wire in and I think this just adds a great look to the cabinets. I was surprised to find out this is where Debbie's dishwasher is. It's so neatly concealed you would never even know it was there. I see another flying pig, and look at all those wooden spoons. We found some of those earlier today. for all of them. She also has this wonderful display underneath the island in the dining room. The same color cabinets are carried on into the laundry room. And will you look how cute this is in her laundry room? These old irons have a million uses. I use them to put on things when I'm gluing something or repairing something. I use them for door stops. I use them for a book and for my cookbooks and stuff. Oh my gosh, I never have thought of that, but that would definitely make... They, they're awesome. Wow. And you can pick them up at garage sales for nothing. Like you're gluing something or something, you put the yeah, weight on it. I totally could see that because it's so heavy. Yeah, I use it. That's smart.
I also wanted to show you these because I really like these on the wall. This is Debbie's bedroom and when you walk in the first thing you see are these beautiful cabinets that are in the closet. These are really cute too and are also hanging in her bedroom. This is her beautifully made bed. These suitcases hide the grandkids' toys and DVDs. This is a beautiful antique cabinet that's displayed in the bathroom. And here's a guest bedroom that has so much charm you'd never want to leave. Let's take a look at her patio. So that set, I bought at a garage sale for $20. It was dark wood from like the 1970s, 75. And I took the top off, put a piece of fence on it, painted the chairs with that Amy Sloan paint and, you know, aged them in that. And for 20 bucks, I got that on my patio. That's incredible. Look at that. I'm naked right now because the patio is getting power washed. How creative is that? Everything in my home, except for my sofa and my mattresses and my appliances, came from either a thrift store, a garage sale, or just garbage picking. That's incredible, because your house is absolutely beautiful. But everything else is cheap, cheap, I mean. Yeah. Wow. So it just goes to show you can decorate your house beautifully. For nothing. For nothing, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Flea Market Rescue. And just a reminder, I will be on vacation from June 24th to July 4th. Also, my Etsy shop will be on vacation as well. And I'm so sorry to say, but on June 30th, there will be no video. But I do have some announcements when I come back that I think you're going to like. Also, the Flea Market Rescue Project and Idea Facebook group will be on pause until I get back. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.